Yeah. Well, good morning, everybody. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Steve's here. Hello, hello online. Thank you so much for showing up. This thing is tilting hard. We are not having an earthquake. It is just tilted. All right. Well, go ahead. If you're there, Steve, Claudia, Haley, go ahead. Steve, well, there's two Steves. Those Steves, go ahead. Lindsay, go ahead and turn your um, cameras on. We like to see your smiling faces while you're doing so. Let's begin it like how we like to do every week with tell me something good. So what real quick, who want, who has to tell me something good they'd like to share? I'm looking around. I know I, I called on some people. There we go. Go ahead, stand up, say your name, and uh, what you tell me something good. Uh, my name is Robbie, and uh, I have got some buyers into contract on 77 acres of raw land. Uh, we discovered a discrepancy in title. And we were able to negotiate the sellers to pay us ten thousand dollars for the first two months to extend, and uh, five months or five grand every month after that. So wow. yeah, because they're holding up escrow. It's on their end. They so were, it wasn't in a trust. They weren't trying oh, to put it back into a trust. It didn't go to probate. When they had their court date, everything's going through. So now it's just a matter of processing. Right. But we've made up about. 25 grand so far. There you go. Round of applause, everybody. All right. Who else? Who else has a tell me Go ahead, Jen. Do not die of shock. But I actually got multiple offers on a listing that had been sitting there for like two months. All right. And we dropped the price down. And I got one offer, then another offer, and then getting another one today. I will sit out of nowhere. No, no idea. But, that's a that's a win. Are they are they good offers? We won't be going to ask them. No, we're not dropping the price. We'll, we'll be going to ask them. She was a little bit special in the head, and when I told her we're getting multiple offers, she then countered back fifty thousand dollars less with higher credits. I was like, in twenty years of real estate, I've never seen a realtor when you say we're in multiple offers. Um, <laughs> net the seller sixty five thousand dollars less. Yeah. I think she's a little bit confused about how real estate works, but okay. That's all good. That's all good. Okay. Juan, what's your tell me something good? All right. So as of last night, I got my second listing agreement signed in two weeks. Those two listings come the new title of the Trailer Park King. So they're both for a whopping $150,000. But um, yeah. got a three bed, two bath, and a two bed, two bath. Fantastic. Awesome. Susan run out on me. Yeah. Freaking Susan. She would. All right. Oh, go ahead. Who is that? Tracy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I just signed a, a listing uh last night with a client that I've actually known for over a year. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Um, it's uh 4316 Policia Way. Um, the listing date's going to be on December 1st. It's in Fair Oaks. It's listed at 995. You say 995? Yep. Yeah, four bedroom, three wow. bath, a tri level craftsman that overlooks the American Canyon. And you can see uh, Folsom Lake from there. It's beautiful. Sounds incredible. Sounds like a trophy listing right there. Well done. The round of applause. Yeah. All right. Well, with that, I think oh, everybody's good. Let's move on to the lender update. So um, Rodney is unable, unable to make it. He's got a little cold. By the way, if you have a, you're sneezing or you're coughing, so we don't catch it on the microphone, go ahead and just step outside if, you, if you're having a coughing attack. Because it does live forever on Zoom. Um, but with that, we we Lindsay's coming in. She's a uh, she's filling in for Rodney. Go ahead, Lindsay. Introduce yourself. Hi, one. everyone. I'm a I'm the loan partner for the JJ Mac team at American Pacific Mortgage, um, and I'm filling in for JJ today. Just wanted to hop on and give you guys a little market update um, for where things are at today. It, um, we actually saw a really big swing today, which in a positive direction, which has been awesome for the market. So um, the CPI, which consumer price index, which measures inflation, those numbers came out today. They're down from 8.2 to 7.7, .7, um, which means that inflation is going down and rates are going to start getting better. We saw a big jump today, about a half of a percent um, in interest rates, um, a little bit more, um, potentially depending on your product. But um, you mean drop or jump? Rates went down. 
Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rates look better. They are down. Um, just to give you an example, um, we're working with a ton of first time home buyers doing a lot of down payment assistance right now. And the interest rate two days ago for Cal HFA was 7.25. And this morning it is 6.25. Wow. There you go, right? Which is massive in giving your clients buying power. Um, that can make a difference of tens of thousands of dollars in the price that your clients can be approved for, um, you know, not just with down payment assistance, but obviously, you know, on the general market with a conventional or FHA mortgage as well. So um, we think it might be a little bit of a bumpy road as, you know, these are new numbers. So we obviously saw a big drop in interest rates today, um, but we do expect that they will continue to trend downward um, as inflation gets a little bit more under control. Um, so it's, it's great news today. We haven't had much great news in the world of interest rates and lending for a while. So it's a big win. Um, you know, I think that if you have clients that have been maybe on the fence about purchasing because interest rates are higher, this might be the time to take a look again at their numbers, reevaluate, um, you know, get in while interest rates are a little bit lower, but also prices are still a little bit lower. You know, we, this, it's possible that if, as interest rates come down, more buyers flood the market, might see house prices come back up a little bit again. You know, right now is a little bit of a sweet spot where the sellers are still giving those concessions, prices are still low and rates are pretty good right now. So it could be a great opportunity to jump in and get some buyers into some houses while getting's good. So Love let it. us know if you have any other questions. Love it. So she brings up a good point. Not only interest rates down, but prices have fallen since their peak a little bit. So like you said, right now is a sweet spot for those buyers, right? So get them in contract. Um, how fast, so I know Rodney closes fast. How fast can you close, Lindsay, on a on most loan products? Um, we are 21 day average um, or less. Yep. Um, so our, I can close things in 10 to 15 days, right? So, <laughs> so you think it's over with 21? So the point is, is you can get, be in your home before Christmas, be in your home before the new year, right? Potentially, depending on the situation, maybe even before Thanksgiving, but that's pushing it, right? At this point. But the point is, but the point is, is you want you want to make it real to them, sell the story. Not only do the interest rates drop, home prices are still still very aggressive. Any questions for Lindsay? Any lending questions? Yeah. Go ahead, Herbie. Uh, one question. So, um, what are the trends? Because I was in a forum yesterday, uh, keeping current matters, and they were saying how inflation correlates with the um, home price, uh, mortgage interest rates. So. Uh, Basically, <clears throat> so when uh, home interest rates uh, in 2023, will the interest rates increase? Um, well, we're anticipating that rates are going to continue to go down. Interest rates will drop from here. We are seeing some of the highest interest rates that we have seen in years. And we obviously came up dramatically from where they were a year ago. You know, they were in the twos and threes. Now they're, you know, sevens. Um, so we do anticipate in 2023 that rates will continue to come down. Um, and yes, there is the correlation between the market economy, um, you know, interest rates for, you know, the, the Fed rates and mortgage interest rates, um, typically as inflation you know, as inflation gets a little bit more under control, the risk for mortgage interest rates is going to go down as well. So that's where we've seen as inflation has been going up, mortgage interest rates have been going up too, um, kind of just as a a, cor a a response to the the overall risk in the economy to lend money. So we do see that as that starts to get a little bit more under control, we are going to see interest rates come down. Um, it may not, we may not see more of this dramatic decrease. Um, we do think it will definitely start to trend downwards again, though, um, and come out of the seven. So. so what I would say is don't, like your clients are going to probably know that rates, how many of us, raise your hand if you've been here, I'm waiting for interest rates to come down, right? Now you're probably going to be hearing, I'm, I'm going to wait for them to drop a little bit lower. They're supposed to get lower, mm -hmm. supposed to, right? And so 
be prepared for that. There's ways to handle that. We're actually going to be covering some scripts on how to do that, not this Thursday, but the first weekend, Thursday in December. There's been a lot of questions for script training on that. So we're going to go over that. But um, don't don't let just anticipate that. Work on that objection. And um, it's coming. So this is good news. But like yep. Lindsay said, what I would say is right now is a sweet spot because what yes. a lot of people are going to do is they're going to jump in and potentially keep home prices where they're at or drive them up as these rates fall. So yep. with that, Lindsay, was there anything else you wanted to add? That was it. Um, I just mostly wanted to touch on the market today. I um, was going to talk about a little bit about the CalHFA, the down payment assistance. Um, but I think we've had that conversation already. I just did want to kind of let you know that if you do have any clients that are pre-approved with the down payment assistance, because we are seeing a lot of our clients right now are first time home buyers that couldn't get into the market and get offers accepted last year um, are, you know, really getting their offers accepted. And that seems to be a, a lot of the clientele base right now that those interest rates, um, which are set with Cal HFA are down dramatically. So it's a good time to reevaluate those clients that have maybe been looking at that and see if they didn't qualify before, do they qualify now? If they qualified at maybe a price point they couldn't find a house at, now that interest rates are a little bit lower, it's going to give them more buying power. So reevaluating those clients is going to be important right now. Fantastic. And then what's the best, if somebody wants to reach out to you, what's the best phone number, Lindsay? Um, our office line here is 916-517-1800. And that <coughs> will take us to the, the JJ Mac team office um, line. And you can reach JJ or I here. Perfect. Hey, I have a question. Hi. Uh, how much are you seeing uh, FHA and VA loans being assumed? Um, there, I, I will say that's a little bit more JJ's um, JJ's forte there. Um, but I, I haven't heard of any issues with APM as far as that, you know, assumability of the loans were. <laughs> we haven't had any, um, you know, kickback on that. Okay. Just not common thing. Yeah. Fair enough. Good question, Claudia. All right, all. Well, let's. We got some housekeeping things to do. Let me bring up my screen. I'll just do this and share my screen. You're all quiet. It's making me nervous over here. <laughs> Thank you. So today, upcoming event, we got a mix and mingle business panel. For those of you who have attended events in the past with Trevor and I, they're always a good time. This is going to be down at the mix from five to eight. And we're going to be hearing from six, seven, and eight figure entrepreneurs. A lot of these are local people too, local entrepreneurs. So it's a good opportunity to get down, meet new people, and um, meet clients that are worth a little bit more than um, your average bear. Next Thursday, we will not be having the team meeting here. It will be taking place at PCAR. At, um, we're going to have the, the 2023 Business Planning Clinic. I saw Rob earlier today. He's printing out the booklets. Printed out like, I don't know, 15 million pages and in, in, in booklets for us because she's going to cover a lot of information. This Stacy went from zero transactions, I believe it's over 300 in five years, right? In a small, small, small market of like, I think it was like 100,000 100, people. We have what, 2.2 million in our metro, right? 2.3. So there's definitely uh, room for growth here. Whatever she did in her market will work here. And then, like I mentioned, following the, uh, so there's no meeting on the week of Thanksgiving. Okay, so obviously, if, I mean, if you're hardcore, you're going to show up, you'll be alone, you guys can eat turkey by yourself. But um, the following week, we'll be doing scripts for today's buyers and sellers. And um, with that, let me stop the share and bring it to the front of the room is Sherry. Sherry's the, the sponsor for today's team meeting. Everybody give Sherry a round of applause. You guys know me, Sherry, with Home Warranty of America. 13 month home warranty. Um, you guys know Peach. We, with that, I like to say we cover uh, over 120 items, everything from kitchen to the curb. Uh, I want to talk a little bit today about um, the seller's warranty. The seller's warranty is $35. It's great for listing agents if you can have that in your back pocket. And that gives them some coverage while they're listing for up to 180 days. 35 bucks. I attribute it to, so the seller's warranty is more like the continental breakfast. The buyer's warranty is like the full buffet because the buyer's warranty gives you that $5,000 of HVAC, you know, um, 
there's no age restriction on your home or, or it's mechanical systems. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy to, once they have a, a seller's warranty, then you can just, we can just transfer it over to a buyer's warranty. So nice little thing to put in back pocket, maybe help you get some more listings. Um, we also have another product. It's called HWA After. So let's say the sellers don't want us, don't want to pay for the warranty. Um, the buyers don't know if they can afford it. That's what it closes, and then they're in there. All hope is not lost. They can still get a home warranty through Home Warranty of America. The only difference is there's a 30 day waiting period, and they have to pay for it with a credit card. Um, also, we have an app. Home Warranty of America has an app. It's great because customers can make a claim. They can follow their claim. They can, you guys, there's even a, a spot on there for realtors where you can get into the realtor portal. You can give a quote, tons of information. This is actually the best way to file a claim. So we have the app, we have uh, the customer portal. And then for the old schoolers, we have the 800 number, okay? Um, what else? Oh, obviously, you know, when it comes to home warranties, they're kind of almost, they're very similar. Well, wait, um, Old Republic covers ornamental fountains. So if you guys need that, then you might want to go with that. But well, you, don't cover, you don't cover ornamental fountains, just so you know. But I mean, they are generally very similar. I mean, we have one of the higher caps for HVAC, like I said, $5,000. But what it really comes down to is, customer service and really not having the customer have to bother you in reference to a home warranty when I'm actually the expert on that. So with the app, with the customer portal online, they don't even have to bother you. They can come directly to me. And another thing is like in your process, when you, because you guys have a process with, it, with your, um, your TC, put me in there right when uh, they've ordered the appraisal. I can reach out to the customer, show them how to get the app, show them the online portal. So when they have a question, they don't have to reach out to you. They can come directly to me. Fantastic. And what's the best way for us to reach you? Oh, okay. 279-842-8400. Uh, uh, Christian, I have a buyer that has eight months left of her warranty with mm -hmm. you guys. We are listing our house tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So with that eight months of left on her warranty, is it transferable to our new house? Can we give it to the new buyer or is it just lost? No, it's not lost. Um, <laughs> she would get a refund and then we would put that new buyer on their own warranty. Okay, so it's yeah. transferable to yeah. the new buyer. Well, it's, it's not going to really be transferable because they're going to come in and then they're going to buy a warranty. And it's from that from the point that they own it until they go, they're going to get their 13 months. But you're so they don't yeah. lose money. They're gonna get credit towards it. Yeah, yeah. they'll get it. Yeah. Correct. Get it. Yeah. Hey Sherry, yeah. Where, where do you get more information on the seller's warranty? Um, um the on the um yeah, on the website and then also on the app. Home it's home warranty America. Home warranty of America. <laughs> Oh, uh, Siri, if you said you said, hey, Sherry, so it sounded like, hey, Sherry. <laughs> Technology. Uh, Sherry, I have a buyer, had a great home inspection. Jerry? Uh, yes. Oh, Jerry. You know the name. That's a good story when they know the name. Uh, hot water heater went, went out. out within two weeks of moving into the house, and then her HVAC system went out. And then she had within, something else, but I can't remember what it was. I can't either because I was like, I was like, oh my God, three things. So, and like, anyway, we had a little situation with the plumber that was doing hot water heater, but I called, I got Jerry in touch with her, and then I literally did not have to think about it. Once more, I just knew she was taken care of and we saved the day. And everything got taken care of, and we haven't heard from her now for a few months, six months. So now a Christmas card. Okay, so real quick, um, quick pop quiz. Once the warranty closes, um, how many days do you have to add additional items if you so choose? Thirty days. Okay, there we go. Pass that down to him. Oh, Luis got it. Luis. Okay. Um, scenario. Oh, go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, so scenario. Um, 
escrow closes, there is a um, there was a home inspection. Uh, there's a lease back for 30 days. New homeowner gets into the homeowner and something's not working. What's the next step? File a claim. No. No. Oh, you. No. 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 Here's the thing: is that this was um, Jerry's situation. It was she got in there. There was a lease back, or was it? Uh, maybe I'm getting those. No, but, but, but yeah. So they, when you come in there, we always say that you can. Uh, we'll cover any home, any home, regardless of the age. But the day that they move in, everything has to be in working condition. That's any home warranty company. Even if there was a home inspection, you know, they'll kind of mull it around. But I have never seen them come back and, and pay for a claim when the homeowner gets there and it's not working. So they'll, like I said, they'll, they will pay for, you can cover any home regardless of the age. But it, everything has to be in working condition once they move in. So if it's 110 degrees outside waited out for a day because the AC was working. Well, you know, the first question they're going to ask is, when is the last time that it was working? And homeowners think, well, and they go into their story and in their own words, they'll say, oh gosh, it never worked since we've been here. Or, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't as bad. I mean, all those are instant denials, just so you know. And then what is PEACH? What does that stand for? I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> heater HVAC. HVAC. yes there you go Same thing. go ahead um okay nobody got the other one okay let me think of another one um hmm what are we getting by the way what are these things these are just starbucks i thought these were like a two billion dollar lot of things right then we don't know who it is is second year, it's um it's um let's see let me how would i say this um well let me just do this one um video doorbells is that covered who said that okay you're right video doorbells we do cover doorbells but not video doorbells there you go oh you had it yeah be real quick for a different home warranty a lot for different things around her house and they were like no but we you know we need the money back for everything that we took care of on your home and she was like no no no, no, no. That's, not, <laughs> that's not so that's not how we do it so like you said they had eight months left mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if they've got a claim what they do is they give you that eight months back because you're selling the home so there's no charge back kind of that's what they're cut basically even saying. if she had used it for all kinds of different things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting that they said. I know, I was like, just a quick question about water heaters. If a water heater is called out as like corroding during the home warranty period, or not the home warranty, but the inspection period, but it's still in working condition, and the homeowner buys a home warranty policy, they go in and they change out the water heater without filing a claim. Would they have been able to file a claim before changing it out because it's kind of on its last leg? But not really well. They and that's where I see a lot of um, homeowners get into it because you don't want to do anything until you have gotten authorization through claims. You know, because that's like an uphill battle. Once they, you know, now you're waiting. To, now you're waiting for them to give you your money back. I was like, don't do anything. You can use your own vendor sometimes, but your uh, your vendor always has to go through our process to get it approved because our rates aren't wholes. Uh, they're not retail. They're wholesale. So, so yeah, that's that does not feel bad. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Round of applause for Miss Sherry. Oh, well, no, what's the last question we're going to move on? Okay, there he is. Sherry, Sherry Home Work of America. That's how she's in my phone. Yes, I, mean, I didn't know you had a last name. Yeah. All right. Um, with that, let me unpin this, remove pin, and we come to the main event. By the way, real quick, you got to give a, thank, a round of applause and a thank you to Miss Cindy. Uh, for, for this pretty people because you you suggested being local and you presented it to us oh, yeah. and I, okay. and then I reached out to them so let me see about the names Jason Allison Katie can you all come up from yeah. the room all right give them a round of applause they walk on up here folks share the screen I know 
Hazards included. You should do high fives next time. Bro. Next time. All right. Yeah. What's up? Did you want this one? Somebody grab the Sacramento one. I got the Sacramento one too. You can pull it up there. Ah, uh, somebody grab one of the magazines. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. We will leave one of them. So it's, yeah. <laughs> All right, so what me, Jason, and Katie have done, we put together a new mover's guide for people that are moving to Sacramento and Foster County. Um, and we've made a digital version of it totally free for all the realtors around the area to use with our clients. How many of you guys at some point have thought about it'd be cool to put together some sort of a thing for your client that you can give them with like cool local information, stuff yeah. to do? In reality, you guys are way too busy to put that together. And it literally <laughs> takes forever. So we've done it for you. Um, so our goal is to help when new people first move to the area, show them like the cool local things to do in the community, like what makes their community special, what makes it awesome, different like events, activities, like ways to plug in. And then our other goal is to help support a lot of the local businesses in the area, um, to help new movers support like really good local businesses and local people in the community. Um, and then our goal is to partner with you to help you guys give it to your clients and share with your clients to find the local stuff. Um, I mentioned the digital version of it's totally free. And then we'll be giving you guys um, some little cards that you can leave with your clients. Awesome. There's links, we'll put tossing them around, but there's links on here for you guys to leave this either in like a listing presentation or put it in like your new movers, um, give it to all your new customers or in like your little gift basket if you do some sort of a closing gift. And it's a really cool thing for your clients. So we'll do like a really quick walkthrough. We have them right now. Eventually we'll have them in all areas of the, of the community. Um, right now we have them for Lincoln, Rockland, Sacramento, and Elk Grove. Um, we're growing them right now and you guys will have access to them as we continue to grow them, um, which is pretty cool. And then, um, so to give you a quick example, all of this is the Sacramento, all of the info in here, it's totally local, which is cool. Everything from like the photography or all local photographers in the community that have wanted to share their photography with the community. Um, all the articles and content are put together by locals in the area, um, sharing their like the absolute favorite things about the community that then you can use to give to your clients. Um, so you can flip through all the businesses. One of the things that's nice, we don't have any ads and we refuse to put ads for realtors in here. So therefore you can share it with your clients and not feel like there's any other competition for realtors. And it's like a really genuine thing that you can give to your clients. Um, so we have like a really cute thing about the cover. One of the things that's nice, we put all the important numbers for people for your new clients for like their like internet hookups, utilities, um, like major important numbers that they'll need, um, like things to do in the area, education, and all the emergency services. So that's already put together and done for you guys. There you go. If you want to flip to the next page, I'll give you a kind of quick walk through. And it's kind of well, all the contributors are just local people in the community that have something really special about their community that they wanted to share, and they're sharing all their favorite things. Um, and then, you know, like, flip through like a cute welcome letter to the area. These are some fun facts about Sacramento, and then <laughs> a bunch of these cute little local tips. So it's fun information for your new homeowners that as they're getting to know the community. One thing that's actually very cool that you might or might not know, um, if you flip back one for me, one page. So this is super cool. How many of you guys have ever been to Disneyland and seen their nighttime parade before? Did you guys know it's based off of Sacramento? What? No. Yeah. So when in 1895, when Sacramento literally first had power from this uh, Folsom powerhouse, there was a parade that went through Old Town and they had all the floats decorated and lit up with lights. And it was celebrating Sacramento having power for the very first time. And these couple floats, these photos here, were photos of the lit up floats. Walt Disney found them, thought it was so cool. And that's what he based his nighttime parade off of. Yeah. <laughs> Info for you to give your clients to share as they're getting to know and appreciating their community. I'll take that real quick too. The way we put it together was sourcing by like just networking with all the influencers in the community. So we met with, um, I don't know if you guys know the name, Greg Lukenville. He actually built the Arco Arena, brought the Kings here, big historian. So. He connected us to somebody with the historical society to kind of go through some of these facts. Our restaurant guide was written by um, the gentleman who runs Sack Food and Booze. He's got like 70,000 followers. He's a big foodie in the area. So we've kind of done the grassroots networking to find the people that make 
you know, that know about the community, what makes Sacramento, Sacramento, or Lincoln, Lincoln. So it's all sourced locally. So you can go. And then the cool thing is, like, I don't know if you've ever thought about how cool it is when someone first gets into town, like finding all of your restaurants and like cool local places. So we put together top suggestions in each area for great local restaurants. And none of these are pay to play. They're all local recommended, top recommended. Um, new movers absolutely love them because they'll go through and they'll check off different places and different suggestions. And then guess who they thank for the great information as they're doing it? You guys, the realtors. It's kind of like a bucket list book. Yep. Um, it was actually very cute. So we'll give you the links to these to be able to share. Um, we had a client or we had one of the realtors that shares this. Um, we had a client that was moving from the Bay Area that was kind of like dragging their feet on moving. They had kids in school. They weren't sure if they when they wanted to move them. They sent them the link to the one in Elk Row. He called back Kevin the next week and they were like, Kevin, that was the coolest thing you could have ever sent me. I feel like I literally know the community of Elk Grove now. I didn't realize how many parks there were and like family stuff. And like, literally we feel like we're part of the community. They came out the next weekend to look at houses with them and ended up purchasing. And Kevin called me and he's like, Allison, what are you doing works? <laughs> All right, that was really cool. So anyways, it's a cool way for you guys to provide extra value. And our goal is just help you give your clients extra value. So like cute restaurant suggestions. Um, this is Lorenzo. He's the one who runs Sack Food and Booze. He has like 70,000 people that follow him for food suggestions. So it's getting to know him and like helping your new movers connect with the people in the community. Like cute places to wind down. Kind of neat. We got a message on Instagram um, from a client, a realtor's client. Their realtor shared this with them. And the person sent us and found us a message and said, hey, I just wanted to send you a quick message. My realtor just gave this to me earlier today. I'm only halfway through reading it. And I had to look you up. And I already called my realtor to thank them. And I had to also reach out to you guys to thank you. This is the coolest thing I've ever could have gotten. I've been here for 25 years. But I didn't realize how much the community's changed. And it's one of the coolest things I could have received. So thanks so much for providing cool info on the community. And then they thank you. Um, so like these are cute, fun family activities and suggestions for when you're pe for people who have kids and stuff to do. People love to check things off. It's like a basically a bucket list guide. Um, so you can flip through like the River Cats games. This gal, it's her suggestions for like different date night spots and like cute local restaurants and places to go to. Um, she has like a beginner's guide to stack on social media. So it's some of her tips and suggestions, like her typical weekend like cute local coffee shops. And what you'll find is on each of the guides that we have, the information's pretty similar, um, but it's tailored to like the hyper-local community. Um, so like it's similar content, but it's tailored to the area. So you can keep flipping through. Um, one thing that's kind of cool, if you guys have any really good local tips, these are tips that we occasionally feature, um, not about a business, not about a specific person, but things that people love about the community. And we have them in all the different guides. So if you submit a really good one on something you absolutely love about your community that's very cool, um, you could get featured in here with just your local tip um, for promoting for new people. Like cigar lounges, do those count? Yeah. 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 Sports, best hike, best trail. We have a tip for the 32 mile bike path that goes from Sacramento to Folsom. So it's all the things like when you go travel to a place, it's like, what are the hidden gems, the local spots? What are the things that make the community the community? So awesome. it's fun. And uh, if you have a good one, we'll put your headshot in there and, you know. Yeah. Article on the history of schools around. Okay, so if you have any suggestions, we will give you our business cards. But if you have any really cool suggestions for content, the one that actually makes this possible are the partners that we work with here. So what makes this this possible are the good local businesses that we partner with that want to be in front of new move-ins. So if you also have suggestions for really good local businesses, we want this to be a resource for your new homeowners for any event potential vendors. And we want to make sure they're the best. So if you have any suggestions for really good vendors that you know do good work or good businesses, we would love to meet them also. That's what makes this thing whole possible. So the realtors put their dirt. Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got <laughs> no realtors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you have like a good planter, if you have like someone who does home or home model or construction or like a really amazing daycare in the area, stuff that new new residents need to know about. How do you vet them? I mean, yeah, geez. we sit down with them and we meet with every single one of them because we don't want any crappy business in here. So we meet with every single one of them to make sure they're a local business and we check all the reviews. Nice. Um, so we want to make sure you have good people to refer. 
Now you can, and that's part of the reason we like to work with you guys too, is the you know the brand of be local is to you know help people find good local businesses. So it turns out real estate agents, you guys get asked all the time, like, hey, who you know who's good for this or that? And I'm sure some of you have thought about putting something like this together. So we'd rather provide you guys a lot of value, help get in front, collaborate with you guys and say, hey, what do people want to know about the community? How can we make this better? And then hey, who do you know that's a good remodeler? Who do you know that's good for landscaping or pest control? That so it's kind of a, a team effort. Yeah, well, sorry, really quick. And then to add to that, then the referral is not necessarily coming directly from you. So you can always, if they, for some crazy reason, don't have the best experience with that vendor, then it's not on you. It's more, you can reference to yeah. Yeah. Pressure off you to yeah, get referrals. to give referrals to your clients. One of our the partners at Realtor, she's been working with us, sharing this with her clients for two years. I don't know if you know Rachel Bauer. She's in Elbro. One of the things that she said is she kind of cringes sometimes when she gets asked for referrals because if it's ever a bad experience, it always comes back on her. Like her story was that she, one of the things she told me, she said that she referred a house plate keeper that always been really, really awesome. Um, didn't show on her client. And she literally got a phone call from this client that was very upset and all she was trying to do was help. <laughs> so one of the things that she likes is that we sit down with all the businesses. So it makes it a little bit easier for her to just say, hey, if you're looking for a good vendor, there's a ton in here you can look from. They're all sat down with from be local. Um, but anyways, like some suggestions on local museums, like other cute places to go. This is a cute photo scavenger hunt for different places across Sacramento that people like to visit, so like the Capitol, um, like the Rose Garden downtown, the Crest Theater, and there's different suggestions for plate for people. With. And then on the end of every single one of the guides, we put local events across the community because um, our goal is to help your new clients plug into the community a little bit quicker and find all the cool stuff to do. So we put the whole year's worth of events in here, which is pretty awesome. How often do you like refresh it or is it an annual periodical? Yep. Or like so what we do, we change all the content events annually. Um, we change the rest of the content as needed. So like a business changes or address or goes out of business, we can remove them. Uh, but most of the content we keep pretty standard throughout the year because we want it to be evergreen and to last for a little bit so you can keep sharing it and it stays relevant for your clients. And one thing I want Katie to show you guys the Lincoln one, obviously, because that one's really neat. Um, but we have we actually update monthly. We'll update like if a restaurant changes or something. We're gonna give you guys um, little flyers that are like QR codes to discover what makes Sacramento special, the different area. They can scan and automatically update. So what some people will do is you can put it as a, a email signature. We can even show you how to customize the link so that it shows that it came from you, like compliments of Johnny Sacramento's, you know, favorites. Um, and then there is, if you guys want, we do have physical copies. Um, those we need to specialty get, but a lot of times you can give them to people. They tend to hold on to them long term. You can attach a business card or a thank you. So that's also something we have. Um, yeah, with the digital guide, it's totally free um, for the physical copies. We just pass off our printing costs, it's 10 bucks per copy. And then what a lot of times realtors will do is they'll put their business card and they'll save it a little in here and they'll leave it in their like gift basket or client gift after they first purchase. Um, to help them get to know the community. And what's cool is these live on people's coffee tables for long term. How cool is it to have your business card that lives permanently for like months on end on someone's coffee table and they think of you every time that they look to this? Okay, I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Uh, the update is we said annually and then you said monthly. Yeah, so on an, each month, we technically have a new issue, but 99% of the content stays the same. So we'll just do it to like tweak, like if a restaurant goes out of business or we need to change it. And then on an annual basis, we'll go through the calendar events and do a little bit of stuff. So we're advertising for restaurants like Mulvaney's B&L downtown. Um, yep. RIP 105. You get that. And then on the link that we're giving you, these update automatically on the digital version of it. So you guys always have the most updated version of it. Cool. And then, so we'll show you the one for Lincoln Rockland also. Katie's done like a literally a beautiful job putting it together and it's amazing. Um, Elk Grove's really similar. It's a little bit further. So the Sacramento and Lincoln Rockland are pretty a little bit closer. Yeah, you guys, so for the most part, what you're going to see between the two different magazines is it's very similar. The layout's just a little bit different. So for the most part, like our content is pretty evergreen. So we have our local contributors page. Um, and we, so when I met with these people, so what, you, and I don't know if any of you are super hyper local to Rockland and Lincoln, we don't necessarily have like 
a huge amount of like influencers, right, in the community. So we have a couple here and there, like Experience Rockland. We've got Liv and Lincoln. Um, we've got Giselle Schroer. Um, but for, for the most part, I was actually able to network with people who have just had really, really interesting experiences or who like Rich and Simone, like they were new movers. They've only been here for a couple of years. So it was really cool to get their experience as they've been new movers, like coming into like Rockland and Lincoln from the Bay Area. Um, so for, for me with the local contributors that Lincoln and Rockland have, um, we just didn't necessarily have the type of influencers to pull from. So I was just able to really meet with locals. Um, so that's pretty much everyone on this page is their locals who love something about their community and who have been able to kind of help me with just some content or they have done something that's really cool. So if you can, and then we have very similar. So we also did um, welcome letters from Lincoln's mayor, Holly Andrietta, and the chamber CEO, Tom Andrieri. Um, we also, in the latest issue, we also have a welcome from Jill and Robin Tremble, um, the Rockland mayor and the CEO of the chamber. So if you can go forward. Um, we then have, so we did a little bit of a different taste. So we did like fun historical facts for the cities of Lincoln and Rockland. So you guys have some super just fun facts. Like for instance, like, I don't know if you guys know this. I, well, you don't know this because you don't know me, but I'm a Lincoln high school graduate and our first uniforms, because we had no money, were Placer County jail uniforms. So, <laughs> <it's right. laughs> uh, so the black and white zebra came from uh, a prison uniform from Placer County. Yeah, basically, no, no they changed it to blue and yellow quickly after. But um, there's just some really fun facts um, that we did for the history um, section. And then we have some things and you can keep flipping through. Very similar, we have a coffee guide. So we've highlighted all the local coffees. Um, we have the places to wind down as well. We've also now added the Placer County Wine and Ale Trail into the Lincoln and Rockland. Um, I know a lot of movers don't know hardly anything about the Lincoln Wine and Ale Trail, and I think it's such a cool selling point for anyone coming here, especially those who, you know, like to have a glass of wine at the end of the day. Um, and then we actually focus really heavily on sports, we have also added an arts article um, that'll be coming in December. But so we have highlighted all of the places to sign up your kids for local sports. So that can be anything from baseball to lacrosse to football, um, soccer. Um, we've highlighted a couple of like the more competitive leagues too, versus just the youth, the youth like um, city organized sports. Um, and then we had one of our influencers write a lot about like the hikes, bikes, and water trails because we have so many in Lincoln and Auburn and Rockland. Um, I know Cindy, it was actually super helpful. She gave me a lot of information on some of the new trails going in in Rockland um, that are going to be really cool. And then um, we just kind of highlighted the community. I know that we're super close to Tahoe. Um, we have our food guide um, that was written by a local influencer. Her name's Sydney Jessup. Um, she's a local foodie. Um, and then we really just, we also have the places to worship. Um, still looking for recommendations on this one. Um, if you guys know of anything or see something that I've missed, I would love to add some other local churches or places of worship on there. We also did a local pizza guide. Um, and I know Primo's is missing. We're getting Primo's. But what's so cool is I lived here for 20 years and I didn't know that half of these places existed. Um, so what a treat for somebody who's just getting into the community to be given this. And you know that they're looking for places to plug in that are local. Like they'd rather go to Primo's than the art house. They'd rather go to Edwin's Coffee than a Starbucks. You know, it's just, I think people are moving here because they like the feel of Rockland and Lincoln and being able to shop local and support local. And so that's kind of like why we do what we do. Um, so you guys can help them just kind of blend in the, into their community as quickly as possible. So we've also got the Cheers Like a Local Guide. Um, and then we also have our must attend events, which 
I actually, um, I've changed a couple of events in this just as we're moving forward because I am finding that there's so many in Lincoln and Rockland. Um, so we've got like the staples, like the hot chili cool cars, the Christmas tree lightings. Um, we've got tons of different stuff, but I'm starting to notice that there's just a lot in Rockland and Lincoln that I've missed over the last 20 years being here, but um, that new movers might really enjoy. So um, this is Be Local Lincoln and Rockland. Um, so we have it available to purchase if you guys would like. But I also wear another cap. I am the assistant publisher for Sacramento Real Producers. Um, and we are an exclusive network that deals specifically only with the top 500 agents in the Tri-County area. So that's Sacramento, El Dorado, and Foster County. Um, and we, I recognize a couple of faces in here that we see at all the events. Um, so super happy to see you guys again. Um, but we have kind of a special opportunity for people in the top 500 with Be Local. So Be Local, um, we just as publishers have decided that anyone in the top 500, we provide um, covers on the Be Local page. And I know that Allison and Jason have done a few um, and we provide, it's essentially like a four page cover story in front of and on the cover of your own Be Local. Um, so we provide those for the agents who are in the top 500. So if you are in the top 500 and you're interested in having that be available to you, we'd love to chat um, and we'd love to grab a business card so we can set up a meeting. Um, I don't know if you guys wanted to speak on that. Real quick though, okay, for the folks that are online <laughs> that can't chat, um, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you? Um, my phone number is 916-412-1377. And they just send me a chat and then I'll connect them with Jason and Allison. Perfect. And a couple of quick ideas for how you guys can use these. Yeah. Um, what a lot of people will do is they'll put it in their email signature and we can give you the link. Um, it says get to know the best places and you can um, actually customize it to say compliments of your name, which is pretty nice. Um, that makes it really easy for your new clients to be able to click on it. And again, they think of you every time they do that. We have a bunch of these cards that you can use and you'll be able to grab these as needed and you can leave them with your new clients or use them on a listing and presentation. Um, it makes you stand out as from everybody else because you're providing really cool content and value for your new clients. And then if you have like a little gift basket or something that you give to your new clients, you can use these. Um, so those are a couple of the ideas for how you can use them. The other thing, um, we have a lot of like cool local content and I know a lot of people are looking for different things that they can promote on their social media. So if you're looking for ideas for different things that you can promote on your social media, this is like a really cool tool to be able to pull from content, which is yeah. nice. Definitely. And then Tracy was asking, is this like the style mag in Roseville or how's it different? Um, specifically, specifically meant for new movers in the area. Style magazine is awesome. It's a beautiful publication, but it's more of a lifestyle magazine that constantly has new content. This is, has like a letter that's specifically, specifically a new homeowner's guide, like with like new internet hookups, information that people need when they first get into town. Um, we keep it a little bit more um, evergreen as far as the content. Then Tracy also asked, um, when can we expect or what can we do to expedite the uh, Roseville? <laughs> so, <laughs> I have to, so the quicker we can build the current ones, if you have some really awesome partners that would like to potentially be in front of new move-ins, we are looking for connections to really awesome local businesses. So if you have suggestions for local businesses that want to be in front of new move-ins, the more partners that we have, the quicker we can build out every single area. So we're looking for good business recommendations. And the quicker we can get those, the quicker we can build out every single area across Sacramento. Uh, so if you have ideas or suggestions, Tracy or anybody else online or in the room, reach out to Katie and she'll connect you with Jason and Allison. Yeah. I was just going to ask how we connect with you guys are going to leave like contact. Yeah. So what we were going to do, so um, if you guys do have anybody that like any suggestions for us, any local tips, um, any businesses that you think would be good, that's our business, right? The reason we provide all this value for you guys is we want to work with you to bring in the advertisers and sponsors that want to reach new homeowners. So um, if you do have anybody, um, just give us one of your cards. We're also happy to do a quick little Zoom call to show you how to actually customize the email thread. If you want your own magazines, we just pass on our cost. They're $10 a copy. Um, if you're going to get more than like five or 10, let us know. That way we can order them ahead. 
And we did say, if you guys do recommend a business that's a good fit that we talk to that ends up making sense and ends up being a partner or an advertiser, we'll give you 10 free copies that you guys can utilize too. So, again, we really want to work with you guys. Um, we also want to, you know, open up the communication. So if there's any article that you think would be good, things that people yeah. want to know, the better it is for you guys, the more they're going to share it, the more businesses are going to be seen, the more it helps the community. So we really want this to be a win-win. And just real quick on that note, the whole idea of this, it was originally started as Explore Local, which was like a guide for people that were visiting different communities and we left it in Airbnbs. What happened was they all were went missing and it turns out that you guys, the real estate agents, were taking them and giving them to the clients. So we're like, why don't we like team up with you, provide it for you and work together. So we shipped guides and we had them in some different areas. And literally, they were all going the same because realtors were taking it for <laughs> So that's why we changed it to a new member's guide. Or is, do you guys have a place like the office we can just drop by and like grab a bunch of copies? Or right now, we're working on putting them in a couple different bookstores. Um, there's a bookstore that carries them out, grow. Send us a quick email right now. We'll keep you guys informed for once we have a couple locations where you can just swing in. What's the email? Is it on here? Uh, let me give my card. I'll leave my card here, but it's Allison period Scoby, and then I'll help connect you. Yeah, but you can send us a quick email and say, hey, I wanted to order this many copies, but we'll keep you guys informed as far as once we have the locations, you can purchase them. For now, send us a quick email, and then we'll deliver them to your office, and you can pick up however many copies you want. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as far as Roseville, the, the chamber is a really great chamber. And they would then know all the people and they would be motivated to bring you the people to make it happen. So you might just have one phone call and there you got really something. That's a great That's idea. A yeah. That's so we call. we partner with Lincoln and Rockland, um, the Lincoln and Rockland Be Local. And that's pretty much what it was. It was two conversations with Tom and Robin, and they were like, This is great. We have nothing that looks like this, and we've actually been wanting to like bring this to the community but our staff's like our staff is so small we're already spread so thin we just can't create it so what do you need from us and um especially in lincoln i mean there were people who were just like i didn't even they would just sign me up i just want to be this is great like i want to be in front of new movers and then for the realtors they were like i've had nothing to give them for the last seven years i've been having to create my own referral guides that's stapled together and doesn't look great but it works and this is so much better so i agree i think it's just sitting down with the right people specifically roseville does have a welcome package though that they do at least they, they say they have they give to all their I members but i i think nice. they would yeah let us know what areas you guys are most interested in because if we're hearing a huge overwhelming people group of people saying roseville I'll probably move to higher on the list. They're oh, what's up. ahead of Roseville? Yeah. <laughs> now, high up on the list. Um, Roseville, 100% for sure. Um, well, so, um, and like Natomas area. It'd be really cool to have something for all Natomas. Yeah. Um, like El Dorado Hills, um, Folsom, and then Roseville. Okay. Or like the next highest on the list. What? Where is El it's like the most south part of Sacramento County. They've already published that. So we start with Elk Grove. Elk Grove is actually, yeah, it's going very well. So if you have clients in Elk Grove, definitely check. That was the first, that was when we started with. So the Gold Elk Grove, what I think got a little bit south, this one's cool for. I have to suggest Auburn. Auburn's got a lot of historical um to it just through reasons of something yeah, yeah. Local and stuff yep. eventually we'll have every single area covered <laughs> then we're going to come back here in a year have some local tips from you guys and have the Wilson and if it and it doesn't stories. exist it's on the super supplies like our business model what helps move is the different businesses that want to reach new homeowners so that's why if you guys do have good businesses that like to market like to be in front of people that would be good to recommend to people we'd love to connect and get an introduction yeah. to it. So. We actually met Johnny a while ago. And I, I know, I, I was mean. I apologize. What's <laughs> at the mixer? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, oh, I got this thing. It's an El Do you have one in Roseville? He's like, no. I said, well, tell me when you have one in Roseville. He's like, I'm not. That's true. <laughs> Clover, eventually, but we're excited to provide this opportunity for you guys. Help. Okay. So, 
How much is that space? Does it depend on the it depends size? on the size? It ranges. We have clients spend a thousand dollars a month for something big down to a couple hundred bucks. So, so you're looking for vendors. You want us to say you and so just so you know, like the best businesses for us are home services. So specifically a kitchen remodeler we're looking for, um, like HVAC plumbing. Pest control, um, cleaning, carpet cleaning, cleaning, window cleaning, window service. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's definitely one. We want to refer good businesses to make it better for you guys. So that should Yeah, cleaning <laughs> service. That would be amazing. True. The other really good businesses, too, are like kids' activities, homes, like um, car services, pet services. So, again, like you guys, we want to work through referrals. So, we want to talk to businesses that are good that you guys can say, hey, they're really good and we can show them what we have and see if it's a fit or not. Well, so. the local daycare. So, if you guys have kids at a certain daycare that you absolutely love, that you think is amazing, um, like any of the kids' services, things for kids also. Yeah. So, we'll leave this. Um, if you guys want to connect, um, make sure we get your card too. Like I said, if you do have any businesses and it works out, we'd be happy to give you some copies for that. Um, and if you feel like you'd be a good candidate for the private label for the top 500, make sure you let us know. We can have a bigger conversation about that. Uh, these are here for you. They, they automatically update. Um, and then on the QR code, there's a link to all three of the B locals on there. So, when your clients scan it, they have access to all of them. Well, that's good, guys. You yeah, like this? All right, give them a round of applause. Okay. All right, well, that's all we have for today. See you next week at eCar. Have a great week. My online, thanks for coming. See you next week.